The name's Pond. James Pond. Codename Robocard. Hi, Hi guys. guys, and welcome to Play It. Uh, Fire button's going to play it. Yeah. Whatever it is. Well, it is this really charming... Now, can you guess what platform this game is on? Can you? SNES. Because I had it on the SNES. Opening pot bottles. Uh, yeah, Steve, you could have done that before I we left the house. Jeez. Uh, I'm so, going to say PC. So, like, that bad guy, his name was, like, Dr. Maybe. Because this is James Pond. Instead of Dr. It, no. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly the thing. Dr. Maybe is um, attempting to destroy Christmas. Okay. And, and that's the relevance. Robocod was like a, um, is it an Amiga or Spectrum era game? Yeah, uh, Amiga, Commodore Amiga. And you'd think this intro were running on Amiga, but this is actually a PS2. Awesome. A PlayStation 2 just ran that piece of shit intro. You say piece of shit, I bet it would look fantastic on, you know, an Amiga or a Commodore, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, which is like an entire two generations before PS2. Okay, let's uh, continue without saving. That's always a good plan. And straight into the game. Rob uh, are we Robocard? Yeah. No, we're Fire Button, clearly. Well, I can't be asked to. Oh, have we actually introduced ourselves yet? Because I'm Steve. I'm Jay. And I'm neither of those people. <sighs> You're Merc. Ah, a preview for your opinions on this game. Yes, I'm going to call it uh, Robo Crap. Okay. To be fair... Actually, no, no, go back, go back. I want to call it Robo Crud. Uh, no. So, uh, that's actually a kind of nice loading bar. All right. Here, here we have the Christmassy castle, and um, if you remember the cheat, it's uh, Cake, Hammer, Earth, Apple Tart, because it spells cheat. What's wrong with this head? It's a fish. No, it... <laughs> this is really badly scaled graphics. It's like they... I don't know what's going on He's there. clipping with himself. Yeah, pretty much. He... Uh, right. So, uh, if you ever played this on the Super NES, Commodore Amiga, Sega Mega Drive, instantly you'll notice, what the fuck is going on here? They've changed the layouts. Okay, uh, for those of us who haven't, it's a platformer game where you pick up stuff. Yeah. And what's the goal of the game exactly? The gimmick, right? Every platformer of this um, era had a gimmick. The gimmick is you can do this stretchy thing. All the while you've got like your uh, hands out stretched looking all like, yeah. come at me, bruh. I do that. So, um, oh, piss. And you're very slippery. Yeah. The original game, there were all these bombs, little penguins. Now it's Santa's elves attached to dynamite because because sadism. So Robocod's out to save Christmas. Yeah, that, that's that's it. It's out to save Christmas. By picking up all the elves. Do you need any more of a plot than that? No, I suppose. Really? What happens if you miss some? Uh, you can't complete the level. You have to go back. Ah, right, okay, cool. This would be like murder for Steve if he was still playing Croc. Yes, yes it would. Fuck Collect all the gobbos. gobbos to finish the game. <laughs> no. So, yeah, they've got these uh, really bad graphics. I mean, I sort of... I mean, you've got rapid reload and shit like that, and that looks fantastic in 2D, and then you've got this. Yes. <laughs> I collected a Christmas port, so that's seasonal. Mm-hmm. So is this just all Christmas-themed stuff, or is it like the first set of levels, or...? This is the first set of levels. Uh, all the worlds have different themes. We're on Sports World at the moment. But you're always wearing like a Robocop rip-off chest piece. Well, it's Robocop, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, James Pond, it's, it was originally a, a pun on James Bond, him being a fish and all. So, um, yeah, for the second one, they thought, uh, what, what else can we do? Robo Robocop, yeah, shit. How many, how many um, James Pond games were there? Three. Oh, okay. Oh, if you're not... Um, counting the uh, the aquatic games thing, which I mean, was like, like these. track and field. Yeah, it was three. The last one was Agent Starfish that really wasn't a pun. Okay. Oh, what's the... Oh, shit. No, I'm not You gonna... can now take four more hits before you die. Yeah, I'm not going to collect the bean thing. Oh, I need that star. Star's your health. I still don't know what to think. And it doesn't really hold a candle to its contemporaries, does it? I mean, Sonic no. and Mario beat the shit out of it. Well, that's the confusing thing. I mean, this game is a re-release, right? Yeah. It came out on the PlayStation 1 and 2, roughly about the same time. Uh, that's unusual. With, with remixed level. Well, it was in the in the twilight era of PlayStation 1 games, you know, when the yeah. uh, 
PS2 was very out and you got all those uh, horrible Mary Kate and Ashley games or whatever on PS1. So yeah, it came out late and it wasn't even that good in the first place. It was a pretty shit platform game. So it's it's a complete mystery why they decided fucking get in the car. Not that car. That's an enemy. <laughs> yeah, it's a mystery why they decided it was. Fuck me, it's Noddy's car. It was a good good game to remake because like it it was never any good. I don't know why it's annoying me so much that jumping is killing your momentum. I think it's mainly because all the other platformers we've played really have been Sonic or Super Mario, Super Paper Mario. Let's make no bones about it. This is a terrible game. Yeah, with Doom Guy helmet in orange. Yeah, I've got to be honest. And does it have boss fights, or is it literally just a it, case of? It does have boss fights on certain levels. Uh, if I get to the end of Teddy Bear Zone, then uh, we'll see a boss fight. Oh God! Look at look at that fucking scary thing. It's, it's better mapped and textured than you know Robocod himself is right now. Yeah, but uh, this there's some artifacts on Hunchback of Hippo. There. <laughs> it's a throwback to Five Nights at Freddy's. Way. Five Nights at Fishes. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, they should do a new James Pond that's Five Nights at Fishies, because it'd be better than this knackers. Actually, a right. Blue, 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 blue. <laughs> I, I gotta say that um, th this game actually reminds me of. You know, when game making tools such as Game Maker or Multimedia Fusion and stuff, that, you know, they've got all these sort of teenagers making their first game kind of thing, a lot of those were better than this. If you audience of fire button have access to game making tools here's my advice make a fucking game because it's going to be better than this one i'm not even kidding just like shit out some stuff in ms paint well they think it, the, de the, the people who made this obviously put some effort into design it but they didn't do much in terms of testing the damn thing on the playstation well, there's, there's like no effort in because uh, some like these background graphics that you can see with the square bits on from where they've uh, ported them really badly it's like sort of there was no effort importing it to PS2. Absolutely not. And this this was a game people paid money for. I paid a pound for it second hand, so, uh, you know. You got a down attack as well. Yes. What's his appearance in the latest Smash Brothers? Yeah. Because Nintendo seemed intent on using all, all the other fucking Z-listers. The Duck Hunt Dog. Mega Man Dog. Uh, Mega Man does it, he does not deserve the treatment he's had. He's a he's a good game character and he's just had yeah, abandoned he, by his own developer. He starred in Mega Man 2 and some other games. <laughs> well then again, his um, child or grandson or whatever, you know, Mega Man X was way better, but It's alright, he's in Smash Brothers as well. Mega Man X is in Smash Brothers. Yeah. What as an assist trophy? No, it's his special move. There's like five Mega Mans all jumping and lazy. Alright. Oh, but that's not Robocod! No, it's not. What is Robocop? This. A miserable little pile of badly ported... Badly... Bad. I'm still not seeing the Christmas theme, bar the little bit at the beginning and the elves. You know? Well, that's how abs uh, incredibly tenuous it was. Yeah. The Christmas theme is in that shit song. Shit. It's cold outside. There's no kind of atmosphere? No, that's... That's Red Dwarf. I just... Like draw your attention to like real shitty edge platform physics. How he sort of half goes through the platform. Y yeah, any anyone with access to game making tools, seriously, you can whip the shit out of this game. Do it. Just just make games. They're better than this. Do it. I don't even know what I'm doing on this. You realise now if we have some indie dev coming up and say my game was panned to be worse than Robocard, and you said I could do it, Jay. Here's actually, right, here's... Jay lies about things. <laughs> no, no, I'm telling all the truth. Here's a complete list of games worse than Robocard. Are you ready? That wow. was the list. Yeah, that, that was, was concise. It was. You seriously not played Big Rigs. <laughs> With a name like that, I, I want to. Big Rigs. So it's right, it's a racing game that they had to release three times before the one other car in the race moved. What? That sounds amazing. Really bad. I want it. So, why did they just make a game based on based on the character from uh, Watership Down? Bigwig, you know, Bigwigs. 
God. I, I, I've just improved the game. This is why I make games, because because I'm obviously a genius. I'm modest about it. See, with this game being called Robocod, I really want some kind of, like, cartoony mascot version of the Expendables. Isn't there one, though? Isn't that Expendables? Santa Hat, Steve. There you go. This is your fucking Christmas. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I remember I think an Expender Bros was a thing. Expender Bros. It was an expansion yeah. to the uh, was Bro Force. Super Bro Force. Actually, no, it was it was a free game to to promote to Bro Force. And Expendables three. Expend irons. Expendables. Where do irons fall into Christmas? Because you got, got to iron your shirt. Jeez. You get clothes for presents, man. And then iron your socks. All right. Uh, I saw an ank, so I'm having that because it's an extra life. Oh, it's not exhumed. You anchor. Exhumed was the. The Doom book slightly not in Egypt, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it was slightly in Egypt. No, it was, it was that's not very what I meant. in Egypt. It was it was set in Egypt. I meant the slightly not Doom, you smart asses. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like Quakey Duke Nukem stuff. That's With all the like developers' faces on the pharaohs. See, this is how bad this game is. We're not even talking much about it except when we're slating it when we're talking about other games. We're repressing the memory before it's even a memory. We're just like, yeah, we're... no. Creative input, I liked this a lot better on the SNES. Did you? The PS2 just looks like a bag of wank. Yeah, the layouts were better, because these are really, really confusing. I don't know, backtracking and going over one step is a PS1 staple, isn't it? Yeah. Plane! Plane, come! A slightly yeah. dopey looking plane. It looks really like... Why am I alive? Every like, second is agony. James Pond in the plane is like lifting his eyebrows in a rather suspect manner. I think he's got someone under there. Yeah, yeah. It's the come at me bro nature of him when he goes up. When he's stretching himself. Yeah, can I get on those? No. No, they're just there to annoy you. As arrows, maybe. They're just there to show me where to go because, like... At this point, probably even the testers were like, what the fuck is going on with these levels, man? Nobody knows where to go. Go this way. We couldn't be bothered with proper stage design. Pretty much. It's nowhere near as cute with them being elves, not penguins. And, like, honestly, why have they built, like, scary teddy bears out of... What's that one doing? It's upside down. It's Freddy's mum. Why have they built teddy bears out of all these sort of Weetabix? To be traumatic. To scar children. Scar me? Well, you, at least. Seriously, this is a masterclass in why you should make games. Because, seriously, they're not going to be as bad as this. Just just make games. Make games. Right, Steve, you wanted a boss. Yeah, let's, let's hurt somebody. Ooh, ooh, collectibles. I need collectibles. Why? Because you got to collect collectibles, Steve. That's what games are about. Depends on the game. I would have just gone with, you've got to collect collectibles, the clues in the Whoa. Name. Oh, shit, shit, shit. It's Freddy has been. <laughs> oh, ow. This shit was so much easier when it was slower on the Mega Drive. Jay, come on, man. Game design. The arrows mean he's going to jump down on you. Oh, Robocod's starting to lose his, like, will. The smile is waning as he holds yeah. his green giblets. Come over here. Come over here, bro. Yeah. How many lives do you have? Uh, Three. Yes. Oh no, you got four at the minute. Yeah, four. However oh. many green stacks he's got is your hit points. However many fingers he's holding up is your lives. Right. Yeah, that. Yeah. So when you've got nothing left, he's like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's gonna cry. Park. Are you taking damage just from hitting him now as well? No, no, no. He's he's taking the damage. I was just wait in a safe spot just for him to get bored and come over here. The fact that even, you know, his neutral animation clips through is kind of annoying me. There's, there's like a weird dimensional fold inside Mr. Pond himself. Uh, I tell you, it's because it looks like the graphics were scaled really lazily from the original, like, sort of 16-bit ones. So we're talking blatant cash grab, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, pretty blatant cash grab. From a game that was not actually any good in the first place. I mean, this game sat alongside the, the likes of Zool and Joe and Mac Caveman Ninja for a fucking reason, because all of those were shit. As your boss, am I doing one more world or just calling it now? 
I think we should prolong the suffering just prolong? to see what's different. Oh, God, right. Just out of curiosity, is this the actual Christmas special? No. No. It's not. It's not. No. Christmas special's toe jam and you div. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not that we record these things, like, in in advance. <sighs> I can't even use the excuse, Coat fuck hangers. this game, let's talk about us, then. Coat hangers to abort this fucking game. Oh. No, that's way too dark, man. Come is on. Is it? Oh, okay. I didn't say that. Just Didn't say what? I just heard a really, like, loud ringing in my ears. <laughs> Fuck! No, I, I, don't, I don't think I want to anymore. <laughs> Alright, we'll finish oh, this level. And we'll yeah, I can, I can skip shit. And, right. So, so that makes sense. Are those sense. clouds going to have eyes? Or, no. They look no. like they should have eyes. They do have eyes, they're just closed. They're sleeping. Don't wake them up. Six. I've got six of those things left. Jeez. Four fucking elves. <sighs> what? Why am I standing on everything? This... Best game the... ever. It's it's clearly not. Right. There's the exit. So. Well, I guess that means it's the end of the video. Ah. <sighs> well. Is that it? You're not. Making yeah. Come on, anymore. man. This is torture. It really. Oh no no oh. <sighs> Three, two. Oh, we we found the end. What more do you want? I I want. Hey, look, it's breakout in the background. Better games than this, and if it isn't abundantly clear, people who are watching this video, please, please make games. I don't care how bad they are. They're gonna be better than this one. Please, make games. You realising that one person who's like, oh, I made Robocop. I thought it was quite nice. You were obviously quite young when you made it. I forgive you. There we go. <laughs> it really was better on the SNES. Yeah. Right, then, guys. I, I, I played the Mega Drive version also better. This has been fire button. This has been shit. This has been hell. And I guess we'll see you later. See you later. If you see this on YouTube, I'll be very surprised. <laughs>